Hello guys, again, it's Arish Saridin, and today I will explain the action verbs used in the Lebanese curriculum. Uh, let's start. First, last time we explained the scientific method, and we said that we have to start with posing a problem. So guys, always, when I ask you to pose a problem, you have to answer by a question. Okay, so the posed problem should be always in the form of a question. Okay, this is the first action verb. So pose the problem, it's a question. So you have to answer by a question. Now, research, of course, according to the scientific method, I have to make a research, but there is no action verb. But I want to advise you uh, to visit trusted sites like Google Scholar or the World Health Organization in order to uh, be sure from the information you will get. Uh, then I, will, I, I have to formulate a hypothesis. Now, the hypothesis, I, as I told you last time, you should add a term that shows suggestion or prediction, like hypothesis to points or maybe, okay? Then the objective of the experiment. The objective of the experiment, guys, is the hadaf of the experiment, okay? So, lay ana am baamil hadi experiment. So, it is the purpose, the aim, or the goal of, the ex of this experiment. Uh, most of the times, we say that in order to know blah, 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 we design the following experiment. So, this is in order to know. So, this is the objective of the experiment, okay? So, here is the objective of the experiment. Now, after that, I have to design an experiment. As I told you, in uh, the experiment, I will have only one variable factor, many constant conditions, and results, okay? Now, sometimes in the experiment, we will have one control experiment, yani one control group, and one experimental group. Okay, the control group, I use it to uh, uh, compare the results. Okay, so I'm using it to compare the results. Now, after that, in the scientific method, I will collect and analyze the results through type. How to collect and analyze the results? Guys, in order uh, first uh, to, uh, uh, to put the results in a way that I can analyze it, so I have to represent it either using a graph or a histogram or a bar graph or a circle graph or a schematic figure. By this, it will be easier for me to analyze the results, okay? So the first step to uh, represent the results is to construct a table or to tabulate the results. Now, in the, while constructing a table, please pay attention to put the variable on the top row, okay, and the results on the rows below, okay? Now, if you are transforming from a graph to a table, so you have to put the factor which is on the x-axis of the graph on the top row and the factor that is on the y-axis of the graph on the rows below, okay? So pay attention. Now, of course, why? Constructing a table, I have to, I should add a title, and this title will be in the form, this table shows the variation of uh, y, which is the y on, you know, on the y-axis, and I have to add the unit as a function of x, and also I have to add the unit, okay? And please, pay attention. Don't leave the table open from any side. يعني ما تعملوا مثل هاشتاج للتابل. And if you invert the variable with the result, يعني حتى يتو result بال upper row will will variable بال بال rows below. So this you will get zero. Please pay attention. So the table will be wrong. Okay. Now. Another way to, uh, to represent the results is using a graph, okay? So I can construct a graph. To construct a graph, of course, you have to first construct the y-axis and the x-axis. In the graph, you have to add arrows on the y-axis and on the x-axis. Okay, you have to write the label of the axis. So this axis represents the quantity of oxygen gas in milliliter and you have to add the unit. 
And this axis, which is the X axis, represents the time in minutes. Okay, great. Now, you have to write the scale, and the scale you can write it in this form, or you can put it like a small axis here. Okay, so this square represents one milliliter, and this square represents two minutes. Okay, and you have to add arrows, of course. Okay, so you can uh, uh, represent it in this way. Okay. Okay, so this, and you will add also, of course, this is one milliliter. And this is two minutes. Okay. And then you will write the title of the graph in the form. This graph shows the variation of the factor that is on the y-axis as a function of x. So here in this graph, I will say this graph represents the uh, variation of the quantity of oxygen gas in milliliter as a function of time in minutes. Okay? So this is concerning the graph. Now, concerning the histogram and the bar graph, this uh, document shows the uh, difference between the histogram and the bar graph. Okay, guys? So, in the histogram, first, the, fa the, the uh, factor on the x-axis will be number ranges, while in a bar graph, okay, so we will have categories like months, like uh, animals, vegetables, whatever. Okay, so qualities. Now, the difference between the graph and the histogram is that in the graph, you will add arrows on both axes, while in the bar graph, you won't add arrow on the x-axis. Okay, so this is the first difference. Second, you won't add scale on the x-axis also and third you have to represent bars and not points okay as in the graph uh, also you have to pay attention that the buildings will have the same width and they are equally spaced okay and you will put the variable on the x-axis and the results on the y-axis uh, uh, access title أكيد راح يكون لبوث okay the unit راح تكون only on the y axis okay arrow كمان راح يكون only on the y axis <laughs> scale راح يكون كمان only on the y axis title راح يكون the very the the uh, title shows the y which is the result of x okay. That's it. So this is concerning the bar graph. Now concerning analyzing, how can I analyze? Of course, while analyzing, I can't add knowledge. This is the first rule. So I can't add knowledge while analyzing. How can I analyze? As I told you, I have to connect each variable factor to its results and what and compare with other variable factors. So I can say, say one, Matalan, I put leaf A in uh, under sunlight, okay? This leads to a positive test with iodine solution. So I'm connecting the variable factor to the result. And then I will compare with the other variable factor. Why leaf B that was in darkness, so this is the variable factor, uh, 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 gives or provoke at least whatever you want, okay, gives a, a negative test with iodine solution, okay? So this is analyzing. You have to connect each variable factor to its result. In case of analyzing the graph, guys, you have to divide the graph into homogeneous variations, okay? 
يعني increase the hell, decrease the hell constant. Okay. And also you can use with variation, مثلا progressively, gradually, rapidly. إذا كان في عنا كتير هيك increase, okay, sharp increase. So it will increases rapidly or increases slowly. إذا كان في عنا كتير ال 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 curve تقريبا تقريبا بيكون مثل ال 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 constant. Okay, so we can use these terms fluctuates. إذا كان عم يعمل up and down, up and down. Okay, we peak as I can say, and now at the maximum point. Use as at one after before the variable on x-axis. So as, for as the time increases, let's let's see here. So I I can say that here as the time increases from zero to eighteen, and and pay attention while analyzing a graph, you have to put only the main points. Okay. Never, never mention all the points. So I will say here, while uh, uh, as the time increases from zero to 18 minutes, the quantity of oxygen gas decreases from seven milliliter to 5.2 milliliter. That's it. Here, the graph is one part, okay? I won't divide it to many parts. لأنه عندي مثل ما شايفين only decrease. Okay, لو كان decrease then increase بدي أقول it decreases. So as the time increases from 0 to 18 minutes, the uh, quantity of oxygen gas decreases from 7 milliliter to 5.2 milliliter. Then, as the time increases till let's say 20 or 25, the quantity of oxygen gas increases again to reach a value. Okay, so this is if I have two parts, but in this case, I have only part in this graph. Okay. Now, uh, interpret, action verb interpret. Guys, interpret is analyze plus significance. So analyze Elna. I have to connect each variable factor to its result. Great, خلصنا. Uh, uh, and compare with the other variable factor. عملت analysis. Then after the analysis, I have to give the significance. شو هي significance? Significance is the relation. Okay? So it is the relation between the variable factor and the result. يعني كيف هاي ده variable factor عم بيأثر على result. Okay? إذا إذا أنا as let's say as the stress level increases. Okay? مثلا let's say here when there is no stress the uh, uh, amount of cortisol is constant. Why? As the stress increases or as we have a stress, the amount of cortisol, shantamine, it increases, okay? So here, what is the significance? So this signifies that stress stimulates or enhances the production of cortisol in our bodies, okay? So, <coughs> when they are directly proportional, يعني كل ما عم يعلى الأول عم يعلى الثاني, I will say either stimulate, induce, excite, activate, trigger, favor, any of these terms that shows that both are directly proportional. إذا واحد عم يعلى الثاني عم يوطى, okay, then I will say block, reduce, inhibit, suppress, decrease. Okay? يعني إذا الفاريبل كل ما عم بيصير في عندي إنكريز بالفاريبل فاكتور ريزلت عم تعمل ديكريز سو هيدا شو عم بيصير؟ هالفاريبل فاكتور شو عم يعمل؟ إت بلوكس أو ريديوسز أوكي؟ ناو كومبير كومبير منشن ذا سيميلاريتيز أند ذا ديفرنسز سيميلاريتيز أكيد يو you can use same as, identical, both have, blah, blah, blah. Similarly, مثلاً, both prokaryotic and eukaryotic uh, cells have DNA. So this is a similarity, okay? But uh, 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 in the prokaryotic cell, the DNA is uh, free in the cytoplasm, while in the eukaryotic cell, the DNA is enclosed in a nucleus. So, I'm going to do a comparison. Huh? Okay? The card similarity, the card differences. Okay? So, while comparing, you have to mention similarities and differences. Okay? In case you are comparing the quantities, you have to use more than, less than, or equal to. 
Okay, if I ask you to distinguish, you have to mention only the differences. Finally, I will reach the conclusion. Conclusion, guys, only you have to put, I conclude that, and you will write the conclusion. You won't add knowledge, and you won't write significance, and you won't repeat the analysis. Please, matarja'u t'eidu analysis bil conclusion. You have to write only the conclusion, okay? Now, deduce, a fi farq bani deduce will conclude, okay? Bil conclude, رح تكتبوا بس الكونكلوجن اللي طلعتوها while did use you have to use logical reasoning you have to analyze okay and you have to analyze without adding knowledge okay so you have to use your logical reasoning you have to analyze the document you have to analyze the experiment to reach your answers so to reach يعني your conclusion so did use هي أوسع من الكونكلود okay deduce لما بدكم تقولوا deduction you have to make logical reasoning تعملوا analyzing للدوكيمنت الموجود قدامكم لتقدروا توصلوا للجواب okay أنت فينا نستعمل النولج إذا أنا قالت لكم determine determine actually كتير واسع هذا الاكشن verb ممكن تعملوا بقلبه analysis ممكن تعملوا interpretation ممكن تعملوا comparison so بلكن تعملوا analysis للداتا الموجودة قدامكم you can you connect it with your own knowledge in order to reach the decision okay you can also use knowledge you, uh, in case of justify, identify, specify, or verify. Okay? Type. Let's take an exa example. They said in order to study the cause of graft rejection, they made grafts between different individuals and recording the following results. Okay? Now, the first here, as you can see, I have the donor and recipient characteristics, okay? Here I have, uh, uh, in the first experiment, there is a graft in the same individual, so I'm changing the place of the graft in the same body. The percent of success is 100%. In the second experiment, the graft is between genetically identical individuals, yani canon twins, okay? Also, the percent of success is 100%. And in the last experiment, it is between genetically different individuals. The percent of success is 20%. Now, objective of this experiment. Objective uh, of uh, this experiment, I can pick it out from the text. They said to me, in order to study the cause of graft rejection, okay? So, in order to study the cause of graft rejection, I did experiment in Amalit, لأعرف لاي عم ينرفض لجرافت, okay? Pose the problem. هلا هون أنا هاتيتكم الاكسبيريمنت شايفين يعني ما عم نمشي steps of the scientific method كأني أنا بلشت من النص أنا هاتيتكم الاكسبيريمنت and you have to know to pose the problem, formulate and the hypothesis in order to reach the experiment. So you have to pose the problem. The problem here is what causes graft rejection? يعني هيدا scientist لأجا عمل هيدا experiment سؤالي اللي كان عم يوبرو براسه أنه لا عم بيصير في عنا graft rejection Okay? Now, write a hypothesis Maybe the difference in the genetic material between the individual goes graft rejection لا أنا هون حطيت هيدا hypothesis لأنه لحظت أنه هو عم بيركز genetically identical individuals genetically different individual and here same individual Okay, so أنا جبت the variable factor من هون. As I can identify the variable factor, I can put the hypothesis. لأنه أنا هون the variable factor شو عم لاحظ إنه في عندي either they are genetically identical or genetically different individual or same individual, which is of course it is genetically the same. Okay, so. Maybe the difference in the genetic materials between the individual causes graft rejection. Now, indicate the dependent and the independent variable. <laughs> dependent variable who will result. Independent variable who will variable factor. 
So, mean and variable factor عندي هون يعني بسميه independent variable هو the type of graft between individuals يعني إذا ال individuals هني genetically identical so type of graft هون is a between genetically identical individuals okay or between genetically different individual or between the same individual so if if the graft is allograft or <coughs> other type. So the variable factor here is the type of graft. The result is what? It is the percent of success of this graft. Okay, I'm is Anna at the I'm Yinja Hydel graph. Now analyze this experiment. As I told you, I will connect the variable factor to the result. Keep the door. So grafting a piece of skin between different sides of the same body. So this is experiment A of the same body leads to 100% success of the graft. Here, I will compare the one it's the same result. So I can't put Y whereas or oh, here. So I will say same as grafting between genetically identical individuals, okay? So same as grafting between genetically identical individuals. While I then, then I have to compare with the other experiment, which is the third experiment. Why? So I will say, why grafting between genetically different individuals leads to 20% success of the graft. What do you conclude? I conclude that genetics of an individual determines the acceptance or rejection of the graft. Okay? Thank you for watching.